Hey guys, it's Christina. Welcome back to another video with Jerry Campy's over here. Um, as you know, by clicking on this video, I finally am going to wash my 2020 C8 Corvette, and I have not washed it actually since we got it, and since it's been wrapped, um, it's pretty dusty, it's pretty dirty. A lot of bugs have died on this. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, it's time. I hope that comes off on screen, but it's very, very dirty. Um, but before we do that, I do want to take you guys up into the Santa Barbara Hills, in the mountains, because it is a beautiful day, very hot. And I wanted to show you guys this gorgeous view and show you why, why we live here. Um, but I do have the <laughs> washing outfit on. <laughs> I have just like a full half rash guard. And then of course, I've got my shorts on that everyone absolutely loves, and I know it's gonna be hot, so I think it's perfect that I do wear this. Are you ready to go? Yes. Ready to get this puppy on the road? I can't wait to see those views. Let's go. All right, start this bad boy up for you guys. Actually, I'll come back here. It sounds pretty good, but it is still a stock exhaust, and I think it, I think it needs to be changed. Look how dirty this car is. Oh my God, it's so bad. I think we need an exhaust, teens. What do you think? Sauce. Not sure which one I'm gonna go with. Jared wants to really turbo, um, twin turbo it, but that's one option. That's one option. One of the two options. Did you guys think free. we should twin turbo it from Sheepy Race? Let us know in the comment section below. The other option would be just put an exhaust system, exhaust probably like system. Bat Speed. They have yeah. a really nice system. Um, but in the meantime, we are going to be getting carbon fiber ground effects, oh, yeah. and we are going to be installing that. I'm really excited. Yeah, it's gonna so. really look amazing. And we're looking for some rotors too, slot and drill. Yep, slot and drill rotors. Um, I do have some options. I gotta take a look at them. But those carbon fiber, oh, it's gonna yeah, be yeah, it's gonna look sick. really yeah. good. So, I don't know if you guys can see this, but we're heading out of Santa Barbara on a road called the 154. And those mountains up there, that's the road we're heading towards. So once we get to the top of that mountain, they don't look that big on camera, but they are, I think, 4,000 feet or so, right? Something like that? I have no idea. <laughs> that is a fact I don't know. <laughs> I believe they're 4,000 feet. I used to actually work as a geographer, a geographer, a digital geographer. mapping. Geographer? Yeah. Geographer. GIS, yeah. Um, so I did do some mapping of the mountains. I don't know if you guys can tell. They're, they're pretty legit. Okay, okay. This thing is freaking badass. Oh, it, it is, sounds so good. It needs an exhaust. It's not loud enough for me. It's loud enough for our neighbors. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. But anyway, okay. So we're now on East Camino Cielo. I believe that's how you pronounce Cielo. it. Cielo. East Camino Cielo. Cielo. Yeah. Um, you got to see these turns, guys. They're like... <laughs> You have to be really careful on this road, especially since she's never driven it before. They're like 90 degree turns. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but not only is it 90 degree turns, the roads are, it's, they're blind turns and the roads are very thin. So if you go over, over you're, gonna hit the car you're gonna hit the car coming the other way. Or if they're over, they're in your lane, there's nowhere for you to go. Or if you go out that way, you hit rocks. <laughs> and pretty soon, <laughs> isn't it amazing? Yeah, I know. Just be careful. Drive within your limits. But all I want to do is just rip. rip it. You have been. I can only imagine on a motorcycle. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, this road's incredible. Look how tight it is isn't it? Here. Isn't it crazy? But the one complaint that I have with I'm the C8, up to this car. <laughs> yeah, the one complaint I have with the C8, I don't know if you felt it yet, teens, um, is the car will understeer, and they actually built it into the car on purpose that way um, because people were apparently pulling out of cars and coffee events, and then. <laughs> Uh, the back end would fly Ooh. out and they would, yeah, um, like, what is what this? What is this? That was very <laughs> steep going uphill. Um, so sometimes when you're taking really tight turns in this car and you're pushing it, it like literally won't this turn. Is ridiculous. Isn't this crazy? Oh, oh yeah, I should show this. Yeah. No, they're letting us go around. Thank okay. you. Yeah, I'm you're like... good. Look at this, guys. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes when you're taking really tight turns, it just feels like it's it doesn't want to turn. Um, and that's... I think it'll be fixed with the Z06 version, but I don't know if, have you felt it yet, teens? Um, I don't think you've pushed no, it hard enough. I pushed it that yeah, hard. that's really my. Which now I know what you're doing with my car. <laughs> it's really my only complaint with the car. Luckily, understeer is pretty safe because you just brake and then you're fine. And now um, instead of hitting rocks, we're gonna fall look at this. off cliffs. Yeah, now you go off the side of cliffs. That's like a 500 foot drop right there. <laughs> It gets better, guys. Just wait. It's amazing. Look at that, guys. That's the road we just came up, and it just keeps getting better and better and better. Like, look at these drop offs. They're pulling out for us. Thank you. Yeah, and now it's just a one lane road, pretty much. So, 
It if just a, gets more and more yeah. dangerous as we get higher. If a car higher. comes, you slam into them. If you make a mistake and go off the edge, you die. <laughs> so that's where we're going, but it's going to be worth it when we get up there and she sees the views. It's insane. Here's one of the views, guys. There's a marine layer right now over the ocean, so those are all clouds, but that's where the water would be. And then the Channel Islands across, whoops, there we go, all the way out there. It's so quiet out here, so peaceful. Amazing. Just one with nature, but it's absolutely beautiful. On a nice, hot, 76 degree day. Look at that. Oh, that is so beautiful. I'm in love. Let's just let's just build a house right here. I know. On the edge of a cliff. Treehouse. <laughs> Treehouse. So this is incredible. Are you stoked? This is it better than you thought? It's, it's takes your breath away. Yeah, it's sick. We're it's gonna get some. From where I live. Yeah, dude. This I want to take us 15 minutes to get up here. Yeah. Yeah. No. Freaking insane, guys. So this is what's crazy about Santa Barbara. You've got. The ocean over there, you've got these mountains that are beautiful, and then look at this. <laughs> we have like a giant valley and mountains over here as well. Oh, there's water down yeah, there's a water. Uh, what's it called? A dam? Look at that. It almost looks like a mini Grand Canyon, doesn't it? Yes. Ocean on one side, mountains on the other. Yeah. It's, it's so peaceful up here. It's beautiful. So we're going to try and get some photos with like the mountains in the background if we can. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, this is, and you look amazing. <laughs> People are probably like, well, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> so there you go, guys. You one side's the clouds and one side's about it. Yeah, see the marine layer and then the... That's the harbor down the there. The ocean. Right yeah. where the marine layer And look at this drop off. off right here. <laughs> Don't want to go out there. So beautiful. That is incredible. So we're going to be, if you guys aren't following Christina on Instagram, at Kalittle. It's always linked in the description. Mine will be oh, in there yeah. too. So you'll see all these dope ass photos that we take over on there. Okay, last stop before we head back down into Santa Barbara to give the car a car wash. Just the final look at the mountains and the ocean. The views are just absolutely gorgeous out here. So we're going to go around this little mountain and then head on down there. But it is absolutely beautiful. The car <laughs> does need a car wash now, so let's just get down there and give you guys what you're wanting. Look at this turn, guys. <laughs> it's just a freaking 90 degree. I'm sorry, 180. Just a straight up 180. How sick is that? Oh, it's so beautiful. It's, this road is so dope. We need to do this way more often. You just have to be really careful that you don't run over bikers or, or go over the or side. Over the cliff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that. A lot those, of, a lot those of two things. On. Those two things. All right, we have arrived. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the GTR. We're going to do high pressure rinse, high pressure soap, and then high pressure rinse, and then low pressure rinse. We're never going to touch it with that thing ever. Uh, but this is what it looks like now. We'll see how it looks when we're done. Let's go, babe. You gotta be quick. Be careful back there, team, because it goes inside the engine bay. Make sure you get the tires, too. Yes. It needs clean so badly. At least it's a wrap, though, so it is protected. And we get a good view, which I know everybody appreciates. You know, if you made it to this point in the video, you're welcome. So the high pressure rinse is done. Now I think she's got high pressure soap. There it comes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It looks so cool. I love when the car has soap all over it. it looks so badass. We should get a photo. Of, well, we don't have time, I guess. We only got four minutes. Four minutes to wash the car. Look at that soaking wet car. Oh god, yeah. Alright, high pressure rinse. And then we should be able to... Alright, low pressure rinse. So this is spot free rinse now. And then that should help us give us some spot free rinsing. Alright, so actually we were just reading a sign on the wall that says if you use a spot free rinse, you don't even have to wipe it down with a towel. So we're just gonna drive and let it uh, get clean that way. This, this, It's gonna all roll right off of the um, the wrap anyway because uh, Hector put a nice 
finish on that. You use like a, I forget what the material, what the uh, cleaning material is, but that's a good idea, Deans. We should do that on both sides. Just clean that off. And when I say we, I really just mean you. Yeah, I mean that. <laughs> All right, let's hear a start up this bad boy. Oh, she's nice. And oh God, it sounds good in here. So what we'll do is we'll probably drive it home and then we'll uh, give you guys a view of what it looks like. It looks so much better. Hell yeah. Look at that thing. She did a good job. She did a good job. So now we get to the interesting part of the vlog where we're driving next to two police cars. We don't have a front plate. We and all our windows are tinted. And our windows are tinted. They don't seem like they care though. Okay, so moment of truth actually looks really, really good. Got on the highway, got some speed going to try off the car and it looks beautiful. Almost looks like the day we got it, but Hector's obviously is better. But now we just gotta go home and we have to use the spray that's meant for the wrap to protect it. Um, so I will be doing that at home. I'll spray it on a um, microfiber Rag. cloth and then wipe down the whole car just to make it extra shiny and smooth and just extra beautiful. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. To get more access of me, and this was a little tease, you can get more of me on Patreon. First link in the description below where you get to see a little bit more than what you saw today. Um, but I hope you guys liked it, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I think this, I think this one was a lot better than when I watched the Z06, so you guys let me know. <laughs>